Hey guys, I want you to meet my twin brother. <laughs> that, ain't a twi it's, that ain't a rat, that's a Nikki. Oh. oh? Did you pass out again, little rats? <laughs> Every time. You had a rough time. You shouldn't go where ghosts linger. So, what did the ghosts look like? Did you see the rats you killed? <laughs> yes. Aww. It's all right. You weren't wrong. You see things properly. You can't fight unless you can see, after all. Fair. Oh. Do you oh, feel remorse for killing your own kind? <laughs> hmm. What should we say? Yes. Okay. Allowed to think killing them was wrong. We all make mistakes. As long as you keep your goal in mind, you'll reach any heights, even the tallest one up in the hills. Do you still have the strength and courage to fulfill your dream? Real quick, I know there seems to be a like, slight bit of slowdown here when it comes to like the wreck on movements. Yeah, wonderful. That's a style. You know not to give up, ever. I'm so relieved! Things like those ghosts will stand in your way. Remember... Ooh. Mm. Follow the cheese! <gasps> cheese, grommet! <laughs> if you continue onwards towards the cheese, you'll find your goal. Well then. Don't forget, little rats. Your goal is definitely getting closer. And when your wish comes true... Well, I'm sure you'll find your next goal. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a beautiful ending. Yeah, she's a villain. Possibly. Stay tuned, folks. <clears throat> Bad rat! Oh, goodness. Actions are far scarier than any ghost, jeez. I mean, you kind of look like one already. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, are you alright? I was called to the afterlife. Again? Wait, what? What the? We made it back to the lab! How? Lab? Th this place? We've got to find the human! I mean, I don't... The rat god told me my goal is near. It'll lead to my dream. Goal? To kill the human? Gang straight! Let's go find him! And now, thank you for joining Schmuckhead Theater. Icky, how are you doing, and what do you think of this random little game? I'm the giant rat who makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble at one day the Yeah, so... Go ahead, James. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our commentary on Bad Red Dead. Yes, Iki has, has decided to join us because he, too, is one with the rats. And, I mean, now we're in the third chapter of the game where it looks like we're back in the lab as all, as, as you know, fate intended. Awesome. Yep. Um, and, uh, careful. And, uh, yeah, uh, Iki, what about Mad Red Dead are you familiar about? I'm familiar with the developers. Yep. Oh, yep. yeah? And that's it. <laughs> Well, Are you also aware of another game that they that these same developers also made? Uh, I mean, I just said I'm familiar with the developers. They made um, Sky series. They made um, Prinny Game. They made Phantom Brave. They made the, Kai Kingdom. They made Prinny Games. This artist, the the artist, the main artist for this game worked on Yomawari Night or Yomawari Alone. Wow. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Yeah, the spooky game. Hey, did what? <laughs> and. Trust me, as oh, and trust oh me, you've seen James. that. Yeah, he's not just, good at this. Oh, oh yeah, we. Oh yeah, James. I guess I quickly explained to him the whole uh, death mechanic. Okay, so in Mad Red Dead, um, well, again, think of it like Prip of the Necro Dancer, who was made into a 2D platformer, and um, you're gonna die a lot. It is very well possible for you to die a lot. In which case, the game is incredibly, um, you know, generous about that because you, because your heart is pretty much your guide to reset any of your failures. Yep. yep, you have I mean, infinite like lives. You don't even have a heart, aside from, like, that little thing in your ribcage. 
Yeah, which yeah. is cool. I can talk to him. Oh! Oh, yeah, boy. the heart the heart has a mind of his, of its own, and well, let's just say he and the old Mad Rat don't quite get along at the best of times. He's my conscience. He doesn't speak much. There there is this like I'm I'm actually I'm still really curious to see where the story goes because it's like all of the interactions between the heart and the Mad Rat, and we don't have a name for him. His, his name is just Mad Rat for now. It, the, all the conversations between the heart and Mad Rat keep making it seem like. The heart has no idea what he's talking about, which makes me start to question how much of this is even real sometimes. And and honestly, like I, I joked about earlier, I'm starting to get the sneaking suspicion that that rat god is some su is becoming some kind of malicious enabler. Well, well, well the most I'll say to that is, uh, keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not peeling my eyes. I don't remember. <laughs> Follow the cheese. I feel my eyes, guys. Follow the cheese. I like cheese. Cheese is okay in my book. It's all right. What kind of cheese? Cheese me likey. <laughs> yeah, second thought, make mine a sound. Anyway, um. Oh my gosh, more of the dubstep. But this guy's work is still. All of the sound, all of the music in this game has still been pretty solid so far. I agree. So what exactly are you doing here? Like, are you killing the Libas? Uh, oh. We're killing off nightmares, as the game calls it. Some. Weird... I mean, in a way, they're both in opposition, but they also make for convenient platformers. Yeah, it's some weird energy form, but yeah, no. It, it, as James put it, it's basically a rhythmic action platformer. Which, once again, like we've been getting a lot of fun little rhythmic music games this year between, you know, Melody of Memory, No Straight Roads, Mad Rat. Oh Dead. yeah, mm -hmm. it's awesome. Honestly, I like this. It's such a good game, and it's still never. I, and I, I know I've already brought it up before this commentary, but it still nice. bums me out that this game never got nominated for Best Score in the uh, Game Awards. Right. Or at the yeah. very least, Best Indie Game. Or Best Indie Game, because that was also really solid. I mean, would you consider in would you consider NIS an indie developer, though? Hmm, maybe. Uh, uh, so I'm uh, kind of, uh, question this game, because I'm totally under with it, besides whoop. you guys. No worries. Look! The moon! <gasps> the moon's out! It's pretty creepy. But it's daytime. The moon's been out all day. Actually, it's possible depending on what time of the day to actually see the moon out during daytime. Oh, yeah. Where? You can see it during, like, sunset. It'd be great if the moon fell. And destroyed the human, the rats, and the lab. <laughs> it destroyed a lot more than that. You're mad. Rats. <laughs> Trademark. I don't see any moon. You and I have never understood one another. Even to the end. Hey, don't say that. It's true. You never understood me and my feelings. If you say there's a moon, there is. I just can't see it. Don't try to make up to me now. Well, it's like you only have one eye. And besides, you don't get to say that. How can we be friends, Mad Rat? You want a hug? I do. Stop that. You're so annoying. I don't have time to make friends with you. Your own heart, no less. <laughs> no more talking. I've gotta go kill that human. Talk about heartless. <laughs> Let me know if you need more courage to kill him. And you had to catch. Oh, I'll give you a hug. Piss <laughs> off. I don't need you. But we do. Well, these guys and... stick around anyway because, well, again, these are heart. We can't exactly live without it. And yeah, yeah catch you up to speed, Icky. We're trying to kill the human that uh, performed a uh, yeah, who experimented on us and dissected us and ultimately killed us. Okay. It's a knee nice story. But yeah, you're at, you're wanting to question this game, Icky. Yes. Well, so I noticed that you're moving. Like you're literally doing everything to the rhythm of the background music. Oh yeah, again, this is pretty much again, this is pretty much running under similar logic to the Crypt of Necrodancer, where you only could move to the to the beat of the music. Mm -hmm. So you can't move on your own accord, you can only move to the music? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh come on. Oh, that was Just so close. Just because a worth of water is enough to kill you. Right. Yeah, no, Mad Rat is unfortunately not, he is unfortunately not waterproof. And, no, uh, I shouldn't have killed you. That water, that water could not have been that deep. It literally touched your toe and you died. It's too, it's too icky gross, but yeah. And, uh, oh, I get it. It's, uh, <laughs> acid. <laughs> Wait, these bosses are covered in cheese. 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 
but uh, yeah, so you, you, can, you, can you can determine where you go, Wiki, like in which direction, but yeah, all your, like, literally, like, think of it like you have to almost march to the rhythm with your button presses. Okay. And the game highly rewards you for doing so. Well, you also have, like, a time limit, but it only goes down with, like, every beat. Every yeah. beat. And um, one thing, one other thing worth mentioning is that, say if you do end up screwing up and you have to use Whoa. your heart to rewind, rewind time, uh, these the time limit stays as it, as it was. So you can't you can't screw up too much. I'm uh, also okay. noticing that I think this is the first time we've encountered it where, yeah, that was the, I think that was the first time we've ever encountered it where the beat where the beats per minute or the rhythm of the song changed very dramatically and you have to yeah. keep up with it. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't the, the first time, but good. Yeah, it kind of changed a bit, but anyways, uh, it kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat in some respect. Kind of. Yeah. Is there like a combo system to it other than just great? Oh yeah. I see uh, that little counter underneath the time limit, but does that have to do with anything? No, that's really all there is to it. I mean, yeah, you do get you do get ranked after beating the level, so I mean, assuming you care about that kind of stuff and well, achievements, that's well, that's as far as it goes. It would be you know cool what? if they had a go ahead, hype. Now that I made that comparison, I kind of wouldn't mind seeing another Jungle Beat game with gameplay similar to Mad Rat. I mean, and, and I mean, I, I I assume there's maybe like some sort of trophy or some sort of achievement for beating a level with a complete with like, if there's a trophy for clearing every level with a full combo and you know like not breaking it once until the end. Um, I think like so. Like a do or die mode. Maybe. Oh. Um, I know. Um, the most I remember is that um, there is a hard mode to this game, assuming you want to go like replay levels at a higher, harder difficulty. They do sort of change the rules of the gameplay, though, when you do oh, that. Nuts. nuts. What a thing. Nuts. Yeah. Basically, how the hard mo like with the, with the hard mode levels, how they handle is that the way they handle the beats is a bit different, in that you sort of have to take into account like the uh, sub beats as well. Right, in order to get an input in. But uh, other than that, uh, this game has a hell of a lot of electro swing and ragtime music, and I'm down for that. I know that. With, with the very occasional hint of dubstep. But mm -hmm. I mean, well, I mean that's electro swing for you. I love electro it's swing. It's a good genre. Electrified. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Also, yeah, it wasn't the tempo getting faster. It was just the pitch of the song being a little bit higher. Oh. Yeah. Because when there was a part where like it slowed down or like they only counted it every did a half little feet. bit. Okay. Trust me though. What like later levels you do start to notice that they play around with the play around with um you know the beat of the music a lot more. Okay. Mm. So what Which happens like... if you miss time of beat? What was that? Hmm? Do you get penalized for missing beat? Oh. Uh, yes. That's so. Uh, your co your combo game gets broken and well you can't move. your movement is a little stilted as a result. Right, mm -hmm. like, you can only move on the beat, so if you don't, you're kind of stuck in place for a second. Yeah. Which could be a make-or-break moment in this game. Oh, yeah, considering all the high-flying shit you have to do. There he is. <gasps> Look, Hart, it's him. Really? Couldn't really stealth it up any more than that? Oh, this is one of my favorite themes in the game. Humans? It's just as she said. I follow the cheese straight to the human. I just noticed. Oh god! I just noticed the cheese now, top that um tab. I should have yeah. Seen him. I do. Where do you see the human, Mad Rat? Right there. <sighs> Mad Rat, what's going on with you, really? I'm guessing the heart doesn't have peripheral vision. Either that, or there's the moon, cheese, and now the human. Yeah, there's something going on here. <laughs> Poor Mad Rat. Yeah. I didn't see any of those ghosts either. You know. Oh, geez, something's going on here. Oh, his eyes are crossed. Be honest with me, have you really gone mad, Mad Rat? Trademark. Mm -hmm. Hi, you're the one who's gone mad, moron! <laughs> it's like the heart conflicting with the brain. Crap, he left! Let's go after him, quickly! Mad Rat, wait! What? Are you trying to get in my way? Seriously, something's not right here. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, I understand that you're running out of time, but calm down. Otherwise, you're gonna have a heart attack. What do you even know about me? Ah, uh, you're just too scared to kill the human. I know that you will do the right thing. That's not true. I'm just scared of going with you. You've clearly lost it. I don't have 
time to waste standing around. According to who? This is the only chance I've got! Uh, the rat gods told him to. There's no point in chasing a human who isn't even there. I don't care what you have to say! I'll kill him, even if no one understands! Leave me alone! Uh, <laughs> wait up, Mad Rat! <laughs> I love the text box just moves along with him, so what yeah. A stupid rat. Uh, yeah, no, well, to be fair, his name is Mad Rat. Yellow and fish are the cheese. Oh yeah, no, this is what, again, this is one of my favorite songs in the game. I'll have to listen for that. I'll have to I want to ask, but were you whispering later. something, Jordan? Uh, no, I, I was like, oh, damn, but, uh, for a disclosure, I was told to be quiet because I kept waking up my sister's dog. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay, That's... Yeah. things are getting a little trippy But I did now. turn up the mic gain just so people could hear me. That's oh, good. Yeah. Also, yeah, unfortunately, Whoa. with this level, we're going to have to start dealing with cheesy platforms that literally, that disappear with the rhythm. Ghost platforms? See, see, mm -hmm. the freaking Also, shit, now, also, god, now I look at these things, I'm so in the mood for cheese bread. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't mind that myself. I can't even remember the last time I had cheesy garlic bread. It's well, good stuff. Well, decent cheesy garlic bread. Well, oh. fair. I mean, I usually I usually get some from a uh, uh, freaking mountain mics every once in a while. Right. Oh, oh god, oh, no! Boy. But yeah, no, no, now things are definitely getting a little... I... Yeah, this is definitely starting to get, like, I don't know what to believe in. Yeah, sorry, to catch... And I guess, yeah, to catch Icky up on the lore... The plot isn't too deep, but just to catch up on what we know right now is that, yeah, Mad Rat died, and the Rat God came to him in a vision of, like, you know, the Rat Paradise with cheese everywhere, and told him, hey, I'll give you the chance to relive your last day, and if you want to do whatever you want, and the Mad Rat told her, well, my dream is I want to kill that human, so we have until the end of the day to kill him, because no matter what, at the time we were supposed to die on this last day, we will die, and that'll be our last chance. Oh, so it's, like, retroactive time manipulation shenanigans going on there. Something like Basically. that. And they do play around with that quite a bit in this game, though. Otherwise, yeah. Oh, oops. Ooh, jeez. Oh. Stupid vitamin water pits. Water pits, black holes in general, and all the cheese oh. that we can possibly oh. eat. Careful. So you never know. Yeah, all this freaking uh, this beep boop highway stuff going on. Beep, 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 beep. Beep. You'll definitely notice it like the further along in this level, like there's more cheese that gets spread all across the place, which really starts to have a very eerie feeling to it. It's kind of gross. Well, yeah, no, I'm. But this, yeah, I'm no, and the music's doing a nice job of like getting, making it kind of unsettling. That yeah, like there is. How much of this is again? How much of this could be real? And I'm. Again, for those wondering, this is still compl I'm completely going into this blind, and I'm already. Like, yeah, same I here. I want to see what happens. Oh, you guys are in for a treat? That's cheesy. Ha. Uh, I love cheesy plot lines. <laughs> I have an inkling of what might happen, but I'm still uh -huh. going to keep to myself in case I'm wrong. Right. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, no, this is like some freaking classic Cuphead kind of like jazz. I'm down. Kind of, yeah. It really yeah, is. Like, like, holy shit. Oh, yeah, now we got these. Is... Now we got these things. And the, way they, and the way they drop down with with the platforms is kind of clever in a way. Right. Yeah. And I, I don't know, actually, I don't know if we had already asked about that. Uh, Icky, have you, what what are your thoughts? I don't know if we had you on the show talking about it already, but about the uh, the Cuphead show. Uh, I want to see more of it. Ah! I just oh. really set that mm. scene so long, Oops. I understand why. Yeah. What was it like next year again? Like next August or something? Sometime I don't remember. Next year. Oh! I, I like mean, the look on his face when sometime soon. I like the look on his face when he did that pose. He's like, "Yeah, it's right. You saw that." Oh, jeez. Like, it's like him just going like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he would fit in regular show really well. Oh, oh part of me does kind of hope for the Cuphead show's sake. They kind of do what you know Disney did with the Mickey shorts way back in its inception, where like the first short was released like months in advance. That would be nice. Huh? I wouldn't okay. be surprised if I wouldn't be surprised if they do release episode one a little bit in advance. Well, considering the fact that it's, hard, it's more, most of it's been leaked. Oh yeah. He. Huh. There he is. Mad Rat. Don't. Oh, sorry. Don't, don't go. <laughs> Are you seriously still trying to get in my way? I'm the giant rat that makes all the rules after all. It's not that I'm trying to get in your way. Does it really matter to you if I kill him? 
That's not what I'm saying. Then just shut up and stay here! Stay right there. This is the only chance I've got. I mean, you had a chance earlier. <gasps> Press the B button and go for the- Shh! Go! He homing attacked us back. <laughs> but is that enough to- Oh god, down. it was. Oh! I, I did it! I killed the human! That... couldn't have... No. Take that! You got what you deserved! But what's the yellow stuff? Is that piss? That rat? Don't ask. <laughs> this is what you get! I think I know what's happening to you. It's the meds that wearing off. <laughs> for all we for all we know, that could be a possibility. But oh, last and least, you know, would you believe the adventure's not over just yet? All right. Well, stay tuned next part. Oh, jeez! And the fact that this commentary is not even halfway over. God, I want to know what's happening now. Oh gosh. See ya. Jeez. <laughs> Why can't I taste my teeth? <laughs>